Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming for you a New Year's Eve look. This is similar to the one that I wore for a Christmas party last weekend. So I've sort of adapted it and made it a bit more glam for New Year's Eve. I really hope you like it and I hope you have a lovely New Year's Eve. Watching if you want to see how to get this. Okay, so first I primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, there are drugstore versions as well. The MUA one's meant to be really good and the e.l.f. Mineralized Eye Primer I personally think is really good as well. So if you don't want to splash out on that much for an eye primer, there are drugstore options that are available. And then I'm going to be using my Naked palette. Also there's an MUA version of this. It's called the Undressed palette, which is basically the same shade as this if you can't get your hands on the Urban Decay version. Um, I'm obviously not going to be using all of these, but they're uh, very very nice you've probably seen it all before and the first color that i'm just going to take um a fluffy sort of sort of fluffy domed crease brush this is just the one from number seven um it's similar to the mac 217 and i'm going to be taking naked which is just a, a matte plain um brown i'm just going to be dusting that over the whole of the lid um, and this is just going to act kind of as a base, like a transitional colour people call it. But um, this will just help the other shades blend a lot easier into the eyes. I'm then going to take Buck, which is a slightly darker matte shade. And I'm just going to run that through my crease. I do have hooded eyes, so I'm going to take it just a little bit above as well but you can keep it just within the crease if you have sort of um, non-hooded eyes. Right, and then this is just going to define the eye um, a little bit more. I'm then going to take a flat shader brush. This is the one that came with the Naked 2 palette. I think there's also one that came with the Naked 1 palette, but I, I lost that a long time ago. And I'm just going to put down Half Baked, which is this really nice gold shade. As you can tell by my necklace, um, I'm going for a sort of goldy, smoky look. So yeah, I'm just going to take that and place that on the centre of my eye. More than anything. Right there. And these flat shaders are really nice because you can really pack on colour with them. Okay, and then yeah, you want to just take this into the inner corner and around so you are covering the whole of the lid but try to get um, the most of the product on the centre and this will really open the eye and make the area look really bright. Again, just want to do that for the other eye. As you can see, we've got a lovely gold shade and because I do have blue, sort of bluey greeny eyes, it is going to bring out that colour in my eyes. And um, but this will look lovely with darker eyes as well because you're, I'm really going to start to smoke it um, at the end. And then on the other side of this um, brush there is a bigger domed um, crease brush which I'm going to get Smog uh, which is a which is this shade here just very very lightly tap off the excess and I'm just going to run that into my crease. Really start to see um, more dimension and then what I am going to do is take a very 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 small amount of dark horse which is this darker shade here um, yes yeah, probably after creep is probably the the darkest colour so I'm just going to take this very very lightly and sort of bring that into the V so just the very outer bit of your crease and just along just slightly onto the lid and what because obviously these shades are really nice they blend beautifully together so you should get a lovely um, transitional shade start to happen like a, um, a gradient effect. I'm going to take this 
big fluffy brush. This is just a Coastal Scents one. So you can get them from anywhere, really. Um, I'm just going to buff out the edges. You don't really want to bring it up. You want to sort of keep it down and just blend it um, towards the eye. And what I'm very quickly going to do is I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm going to do this very, very lightly. You can obviously do this as thick or as finely as you wish. As I say, I have small hooded eyes, so I like to keep my liner very, very simple, very, very thin. Now you can, if you wish to make that, to make this a little bit softer, you can take a small, a small flat C brush like this, or like a, a really fine pencil brush, and you can just smoke that out. And what it will do is it will create, it will create more of a smoky um, look to go with your eyes. I'm going to keep it like this though because I do want it to be that sort of more glam look. Um, but if you are going for, maybe if you're using slightly darker colours, this would be really nice to blend the black in. Or if you um, are using a brown, actually, this would be really nice to smoke. Now I'm going to take on a very, very small brush, just like this. Again, this is just a Coastal Sense one. And, yeah, I don't know what this actual range is called, but this is just like this. And it's called Golden Rose. It's sort of like this. Um, just this really nice shimmery sort of goldy shade really and I'm just going to put that right in the inner tear duct of my eye and this will lighten it and make me look really dazzling no it'll just it'll widen the eye um, and obviously because it's got that it's got really fine glitter in it so it'll really make your eyes sparkle and look lovely I love this shade. I don't really like it all over because I think it kind of can get a bit washed out. However, I do really, really like this shade for the inner corner. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then with this flat, sort of shorter, rounded brush again that you could have smoked your eyeliner out with, I'm going to take a mixture between Dark Horse and Smog. And I'm just going to line very quickly the bottom lashes and I'm not actually sort of smoking it like that yet I'm just patting this on so that it really gets the colour I'm going to go back in now that the colour's actually come off so you'll only have a little bit left I'm just going to go back in and blend that out you can use a small pencil brush as well that will work um, just as nicely Okay, so once you have smoked that out to however much you want, like it to be, and I'm going to get this big fluffy brush again. And um, you could use either one of these. You can use Virgin or Sin from the Naked Palette. Either one of those really light shades. And just very, very lightly, just highlight under the brow. Like so. Um... This will work really nicely on any eye, so you don't need to have it or normal or whatever you want to call them. That, that will work on any eyes, really. Just under the arch, it will look lovely. And then I'm just going to take this concealer. This is just the one from Maybelline, I believe. Yeah, the Dream Looney, Looney Touch. This is just a brightening under eye concealer. Just twizzle up, loads of brands do this. is like the YSL one. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eye. So, um, and I'm going to bring it out um, sort of under here like that and I've just brought that out um, underneath my eye as well because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get um, a foundation brush or if you've got a concealer brush whatever you want to use and I'm just going to blend that out I'm going to pat it to begin with and then blend that out under the eye and then it will give a really um, 
flawless look to the eye, it will make it look a bit more cat's eye um, with the harsher edge. So the rest you want it to be really nice and smoked, but this bit here you can really, really kind of make it that sharp look. Um, it will look absolutely beautiful with a smoky eye. Now, you can add on false lashes at the weekend. I wore false lashes and on New Year's Eve I probably will. I'm not going to add it just for the purpose of now because um, I'm not actually going anywhere so it'll kind of be a bit pointless. To um, and they're all a bit of a faff anyway. I probably wouldn't have shown you on camera anyway. So I'm just going to use this Rocket um, mascara. You can use any of your mascara. I really like waterproof at the moment so this is just the one that I'm going for. And then just for the rest of the face, I'm just going to bronze up because obviously with such a sort of a goldeny look, I really like to bronze the rest of my face. I'm just going to take this bronzer from Art Deco and a big fluffy brush. I think this is an e.l.f. one. And I'm just going to place this on the cheeks where the contour would be. forehead as well. I'm just going to do that around the perimeter of my head. Just a little bit down my nose. Um, and then I will go in with a sort of more dense tapered um, brush to actually contour. That was just to bronze up my face a little bit. And I'm going to take one from Slip Mine's Broken but um, my contour kit from and I'm just going to pop that where my contour would be. This is going to look really dark on camera because it always does. It's not that dark in person. Again, just down the nose. And then I'm going to use that big fluffy brush that I just used to blend that out a little bit. Um, to get rid of any harsh lines. This would actually look really nice with um, uh, creamy bronzers as well. I think this would look absolutely gorgeous. Just for blush, I'm going to use just a very simple dusky pink colour. It's this one from Sephora. I did a review on this. Um, see down below for my blog <clears throat> if you want to check that out. I'm just going to pat that onto the apples and up a little bit. This is just a matte shade. And then I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter. This is the 17 Wow Skin um, three way highlighter. Pop just a little tiniest bit, oh, that was too much a little bit, um, on the back of my hand. That is far too much, I'm not going to use all of that. And what I'm going to do is just pop just along my cheekbones like so, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit of the keeper's bow, and just a little bit above the arch of my eyebrow. And then blend and then I'm going to blend that in with just a stippling brush. And then to finish off the look, of course, what's the most festive colour out there? Red. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Colour Sensational in Pleasure Me Red Lip Liner. And what brand is this? This collection the deluxe number one in prohibition lipstick i'm just going to line my lips and then this will make sure that it doesn't bleed outside my lips and that it will just keep the lasting power a little bit more and make it more um the color will be more vibrant um similar to the base of the the primer really
Okay, so this is the lip liner. And then just for the lipstick. So here is the finished look without any of my lighting on so that you um so you can really see the colours and things. Um I hope you like it. As I say, you can do more dramatic things if you want to add eyelashes, if you want to maybe do, or if you want to do a nude lip or something like that, this can obviously all be adapted to your own tastes, but I thought this was a really nice festive look for New Year. And I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and I hope you have a lovely New Year and I will see you very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.